Hey everyone, Professor Hank here. So today we're gonna to talk about how you can use an if statement to conditionally execute a block of statements. So what's a block of statements? A block of statements is when you have multiple statements that are enclosed in curly braces. So an opening and closing curly brace. So let us say that you wanted to have certain actions that were going to execute only if something was true. Then, you know, you might have the question, you know, is it cold outside? And if it is, then you want to perform three actions, wear a coat, wear a hat, wear gloves, and then, you know, we'll say have fun. And if it's not cold outside, well, then we're just going to tell you to have fun. So we want to skip the three actions, wear a coat, wear a hat, and wear gloves. Well, that's where combining a block of statements and an if statement together is going to be useful. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you can do that and also a potential pitfall you could run into and how to avoid it. So let's say we we're going to ask the user, is it cold outside? Yes or no? and we wanted them to respond. And then based off of their response, we will tell them to wear a hat, wear a coat, uh, wear gloves or, or not. So we do something like see an answer and we need a character variable to store their response. And so here we have a decision to make based off of their answer. So if it's cold, so if the answer is, we'll say why, then what we wanna do is we wanna do see out wear a hat, see out, wear a coat, and see out, wear gloves. And then after that's done, we want to tell them, you know, have fun. Okay, this is where the block of statements is gonna come in. This is where those curly braces are gonna come in. So what we have to do is we have to have all three of these statements execute based off of the result of this test expression here. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna have an opening curly brace, and a closing curly brace. So when we do that, all of this code, all of this code conditionally executes based on the truth of answer equals yes. So if the user types Y in response, then all of these statements will execute, followed by have fun. If the answer to this is false, then all of these statements are gonna get skipped and then this one will execute. So let's see an example of both those cases. And when you have an if statement, you have to make sure that you test both possibilities to make sure that the logic is executing as you expect. So when we hit yes, we can see the wear a hat, wear a coat, wear a gloves, all executes, followed by have fun. Fantastic. Now, if we were to say no, then you can see that entire block, wear a hat, wear a coat, wear gloves is skipped and we continue on with the rest of our program saying have fun. Now, keep in mind that you gotta have these curly braces. Students will oftentimes forget about that or maybe their first programming language was Python. Maybe they had some Python in high school or something like that where all of the blocks are determined by indenting. That's not, that's not C++, that's Python. So if you look at this, this is syntactically correct but logically incorrect. So let's see what happens if I say um, no. If I say no, remember, we our idea behind the logic was that we wanted to skip the whole block and only say have fun. Well, when I say no, I still see wear a coat, wear a gloves, and have fun. Why? Why am I still seeing wear a coat, wear a gloves? The reason I'm seeing that is because it's only this statement right here that is tied to the if part because we didn't put everything in the block. Right? So that's the way this syntax is. So it's not the indentation that controls whether or not something gets a block, it's the curly braces. So these two statements right here are going to execute no matter what. And if you were to you know, compile and run this and say yes, and all you did was test just for yes, then you would think that it's working just fine, right? Because you see the wear a hat, wear a coat, wear gloves and have fun, but it's not correct because what about the other condition? The other condition is what happens if we do no? Right, so the only thing that is conditionally executed in this example is the wear a hat statement. So if we want the whole block to be conditionally executed, then we have to make a whole block and we gotta put that in curly braces and it's the curly braces that determine blocks, not the indentation. Indentation in C++ is purely a coding style thing. Um, it's not a syntactical thing. So now we're back uh, by having our curly braces to having correct logic, okay? So now you know how to use curly braces and if statements to conditionally execute entire blocks of code. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.